Good day students, welcome to week 4 of Social Work with Children and Families. I trust that you have been visiting the e-classroom regularly, regularly and that you are understanding the concepts, the content that has been placed. Today our focus is on roles of the social worker in working with children. Now, I know that you would have been exposed to roles of the social worker in your introductory class, and that would include roles like the broker, and of course the advocate, and the facilitator, group facilitator that is, mediator, and several of them. Keep in mind that these roles are still critical when working with children, but what we will try to focus on is be a little more specific in some of the roles as well as the task that persons or social workers who work with children would have to undertake. Now this week you may see several resources, some of them include videos that were posted. Do not become overwhelmed by them. Take your time, take one resource at a time and try to see if you can absorb the information. The very first one is a link to a video, role of the social worker in children in child protection. Now. This hair is a YouTube video that, that was taken and you would see here that it's about assessing risk of harm, um, current harm and future possible harm to that child. Um, it's the social worker in the video is speaking about what your role would be if you had to try to protect a child who clearly is in harm's way. And of course, you know, the sad thing is many persons see social workers as persons who come into a home and um, remove children from homes. But of course, you know, we do a lot more than that. But it's important for you to understand as students what would be expected of you when you were or if you were to enter a home where a child is and it appears that the child is unsafe. So I would encourage you to Listen to the video, and of course, we know it is not a local video, but it is still applicable to us. Um, about then, we have here the very first chapter of your textbook. Now, you would realize that later in the resources for this week, I placed a link for some feedback to determine who has purchased the textbook. Please respond to it. I want to get an idea as to what you are being exposed to. And let me say at this point, you are really encouraged to purchase the text because it's a wonderful text. Um, I got this, the first chapter, it is free online. So you are lucky to be able to view it. It will give you an opportunity to see the way the book is written. Now, this book written by Webb, who is a social worker, what she did was she came across a situation in which she decided to use that case to help students understand the reality of working with children. It was a homeless family she dealt with. And what she's saying to you, as much as this occurred with this family, in the ideal situation, this is how it could have happened. And what is good about the book is that um, there are several updates on the family and it provides you some with insight as to the developments and how the social worker um, worked with the client and how the social worker could have in the ideal situation. So I would encourage you to purchase the book. Now the very first chapter I placed it there, although of course everything there is not on the roles of the social worker, but I felt it was relevant at this point because it speaks about the challenges that we face as social workers in meeting the needs of the family. Now, if you look at the very first few lines, it says, in the best of all possible worlds, a family feels great happiness anticipating the birth of a child. Now, think about it. Um, those of you who have had children or maybe have been in families where babies were born, you know, everyone is so excited that a new baby is coming on. 
no one, very few person I would think would be thinking that this child is going to come into the world to harm them. So we're always so happy when a baby is born or about to be born. However, when prepared emotionally, physically, and financially, most families can deal with the typical mixture of pleasures and stress associated, associated with parenthood. Now, we know what it's like to be a parent, at least those of you who have children. It is stressful. You know, the waking up in the night, you know, the well, sleepless nights, let's put it that way, um, constant taking care of someone who's so vulnerable. But even then, we do it because we know it's only for a time and we love that little baby that we are taking care of. However, unpredictable circumstances related to the mother's home situation, the baby's health, the family's econ economic and psychological state, and the community and the neighborhood in which the family lives can cause the birth to be shrouded with worry and concern. So I want you to spend some time. You could print this. As you could see, there's a link here to print it. I would encourage you, if you wish, to print it and read through it. Because it really puts the, give us a perspective when it comes to working with children. Now, what I want you to not focus on is, is trying to, to, Remember everything this chapter has with the hope of trying to complete an exam in the future because you know that social work is not about an exam, right? I would really appreciate if you would spend time understanding what is being put out there to you and not focus too much on an exam, right? So go through this chapter, yeah? There is a case here which is quite interesting as much as it is a foreign case, it could easily be here in Trinidad. Right, and also this week you have an opportunity to ask any questions about anything that has that was posted, and I will try to answer. And hopefully, persons who want who may have had the same questions would get to see my response. So feel free to ask your questions, post it, and I will try to answer it. So that is one link here, not directly linked to roles, but I thought it was relevant. Additionally, there is another video here. And with this video speaks about a social worker, well, the life in a social worker or the daily life of a social worker working with, with children. And I thought again that this one would have been relevant to you. So Can spend you some time. Um, Spend some time, it was set in England, just like the other one. Um, spend some time going through this. Um, you will get to see a social worker at work, the real life of a social worker. Because I know that some of you may have those views of what social workers do. do. Um, you may be reading it in books and not you are not probably you are not able to put it in context. So hopefully this video will help you do that. Right? Then very important to this week also is another link and this link speaks about implications oh I'm sorry for some reason I don't have the I need to get let me stop this this that well let us let us continue um, you notice I had to download and click on the link which spoke about the flash um, what you need to do, make sure that you do the same thing if you if you come across the very same problem. Now, this here is an interactive um, module, and it focuses on parental substance misuse. And the reason that I placed it there was for you to be exposed to the implications for children's work, or rather working with children, right? Um, all you need to do is click on each one of the links here and you could go through it it will take some time right go through each one yeah it's a simply just going from one to the next you could decide to go back home right and if you notice when you click on home it takes you back to the very first section so you could always go back speaks about engagement and assessment right here um,
So you would notice here that um, when working with children, or rather when, when you are doing casework, you have to engage in some type of assessments. Um, here it has here the roles and responsibilities across agencies. And again, just keep, keep li clicking. All right. It is quite simple. And it says here that on average, you could spend about half an hour going through this interactive module. All right. Now, this one here. When you read through this document, you would notice that when it speaks about the roles, there seem to be, it, it appears as if they're talking about some of the tasks that social workers perform. So they're kind of similar, the roles they perform, the tasks that they perform. So the first one says social workers can change lives. So we know that we are, we are supposed to be experts in social functioning. And so therefore our purpose is to try to change lives. When clients come to us, clearly there is a need for change. They more than likely would be unhappy with where they are and they want change. So therefore, we are experts in that change. The second one, it says social workers work in a range of locations. Now, they work independently as well as in social work and multidisciplinary teams. So our, one of our roles include protecting of children. And earlier on, we saw a video in relation to that. Um, it says ensuring the care of children and young people is one of the most demanding responsibilities. So read through this. So it says that children and young people are central to the social work role and they expect their social workers to establish and maintain stable and respectful relationships. Right? You would notice out that throughout the um, discussions for this week, you may not necessarily see clearly defined roles as broker, advocate, group facilitator, mediator, counselor, but you would see that your your the role of the social worker is a lot well is broadened. So do not restrict your 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 understanding of what the roles of the social worker to be simply the straightforward roles that you may have been exposed to in your introductory class. And of course, as I said, here you have it, ownership of the main textbook, right? So all you need to do is to try to respond to the question, right? Whether it is, you would see here, you have to decide whether you purchase, whether you, sorry, you have access to the book, yes or no, or whether you will be getting one. As I said, try your best to try to get a textbook. And what I want you to know is that the textbook may not necessarily be available locally, but where is the textbook? There is the textbook right here. There is an older edition, um, but I would encourage you to get this edition because there are um, updates that are very important to this, at least to understanding the context. Um, in Trinidad, I knew at one point there were, it was available at the Adventist bookstore in um, Cura, but you could also get those books online, uh, Amazon, and remember that to bring in books into Trinidad is very cheap because all you pay is really, apart from the book, um, well, purchasing of the book is the weight of the book. So if you have the um, sky boxes, I would encourage you to get the book, right? Um, and of course, as I said, here you have it. If you wish to ask a question, please go ahead and type a question so I could respond. So here we have it, uh, students. I hope you do spend some time going through this, um, this week's resources and you are able to get quite a bit from it. All right. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye.